If you have a resin 3D printer, or even thinking about getting one, you probably know, or you should know, that the resin puts off really, really toxic fumes. You don't want to be breathing this in on a regular basis, or you could end up with some serious health effects down the road. So what do you do? I'm going to show you my 3D printer setup and how I've created this enclosure and installed some ventilation to deal with not only the odor, but the toxic fumes as well. Let's take a look. Okay, so the printer I have is an Elegoo Mars 3 Pro. They are now up to Elegoo Mars 5 Ultra, I believe, as of recording this video. Um, I'll probably upgrade at some point, but I've had this for a couple years and it's been treating me very well. I've used it for a lot of terrain, a lot of miniatures, um, and it's still going strong. I also have the Elegoo Mercury Plus 2-in-1 Wash and Cure Station. Uh, and by the way, I'm going to have links to all of the things I mentioned today um, below the video. Um, one thing you'll notice about the Elegoo Mars 3 Pro is it includes a charcoal filter that starts running as soon as you turn on uh, the printer. But don't be mistaken, it actually doesn't do very much at all to cut down on the smell uh, and therefore probably the uh, toxic fumes also. So that's why after having this for a little while and smelling this strong odor and doing a lot of research and learning more and more about how bad these fumes are to be breathing, um, I put together this enclosure. You know, I work down, this is in my basement uh, office and studio and workshop. I spend a lot of time down here working. I have family, I have pets. We use this space down here all the time for all kinds of things. So don't really want these fumes to be in the air all the time. So I got this enclosure set up that I'll walk you through. And between the grow tent, a fan, and the ducting, it was all $100 total. Um, and I got this just to not only serve to enclose the fumes and pump the air outside, but it also serves as a nice workstation that I can close up and, and it keeps everything together uh, and organized. So for a more detailed look at the enclosure and the ventilation system, this is a Cool Grows grow tent. It's a four by two foot, uh, four feet wide by two feet deep. And this one is raised on a very short TV stand piece of furniture just to kind of raise it up to a, a, a better height for me to work at. Um, but again, it's the Cool Grows brand. Like I said, I'll have links to this and all the other things I mentioned uh, down below the video. And this really helps to enclose the fumes and I'll pull this light down here so that you can see the, the inline ventilation fan connected to some ducting that comes out the top and runs out to the outdoors. In my case, this is a window that has since been blocked off with wood and there happened to be an opening at the top, so I run that ducting out through that hole. I sealed it off the best I could with duct tape. Um, it's good for now, and like I said, it takes all the toxic fumes and it blows it outside. Let me plug in this fan so you can hear it. Hopefully you can hear that. It's pretty quiet, but it's also really efficient. And when I have this running, I close the door, I really hardly ever smell anything. And of course, it's healthier. Maybe there are better solutions, maybe there are things I can do to improve it, but for me, for now, it's been great. So I'll unplug this. Now in case you're curious and you just wanna see more of what I have in my setup, obviously there's the printer and the wash and curing station. Uh, I've got everything here on this shelf, I believe is a potting shelf. It allows me to store my resin down there. I've got an area here for my prints to dry after I pull them out of the washing station and they dry so that I can cure them. Some tools for peeling the prints off of the build plate. Uh, some toothbrushes if I need to do some hand cleaning. These little yellow rubber squeegees are really great for uh, running against the bottom of the print vat to see if there's anything stuck or to mix up the resin. If the resin has been sitting for a while, I like to mix it a little bit before I run a new print so that things aren't separated. And these rubber squeegees are great because they don't scratch the film. 
Down below, I've got a tub where I can do some, some hand washing of prints if I need to and to remove the supports. Uh, some, some gloves, some basic tools and replacement parts down here. This is the tank for the washing and curing station. And some Simple Green. I use Simple Green in water for my washing solution because I use water washable resin. Some people don't like water washable resin because they think it can be a little more brittle. Um, and it can be, but it definitely reduces the fumes a little bit. Now that I have my new setup, I will experiment with some regular non-water washable resin to see if I prefer it. Um, but I've kind of gotten used to using it, so I'm happy with it. Up in the corner, I've just mounted a paper towel roll just with some straps. And as you can see, the construction of this thing is really simple. It took me like five minutes to put together. It has a bunch of these ports that you can open and close, add more venting, add some electricity coming through them and that kind of thing. But that's the whole thing. And ever since I did this, it's been really great for, again, the odor, the toxic fumes, but also just having a station that's enclosed to put all of this stuff in. And when I, again, when I have a print running, I'll close the door and it has a little green tinted window that I can peek through and check the status of my print so that I can, don't have to open anything and let all the fumes out. I just peek through the window and when the screen tells me that the print is ready, I open it up and I get to work. So again, if you have a 3D printer or you've been wanting to get one, you're curious about what to do about the, the odor and the fumes, this is my solution. There's probably a lot of different solutions out there. There's some that are made specifically th for 3D printer, but no matter what, trying to have it in an enclosed space and having it vent outside rather than just blowing it out in the room, definitely recommend doing that. Like I said, I'll have links to all of these things in the description below. But if you have any questions, I'm happy to tell you about my process and anything else you want to know about 3D printing. Thanks for watching and best of luck with your own setup.